In the years following America's War of Independence, nations vying for control of the European continent would create an unstable peace. America would once again need to organize and prepare for a war against an old adversary. The War of 1812 would go on to define our nation in many ways. And the Water Elite Arsenal would be there from the beginning, supplying our troops on the road to victory. Since then, and through times of war and peace, it has become a national treasure, the oldest operating arsenal in the United States, an historic innovator and leader in heavy industry, the Army's only manufacturer of large caliber cannon and mortars. Its impact has been felt throughout its service to the United States. Today, America's Cannon Factory houses one of the most advanced heavy manufacturing and machining centers to be found in the world. It is designated as an ISO 9001-2008 certified facility, an important asset whose unsurpassed capability plays an important role in our national defense. In the early days of the first Gulf War, Operation Desert Storm, it would prove just how valuable an asset it could be. At the start of the war, much of Saddam Hussein's command and control structures were protected by deep bunkers, deemed impenetrable by conventional ordnance. Washington and its coalition partners needed something done immediately. The Water Elite Arsenal was asked to help create a solution using available materials, combined with its manufacturing expertise. That expertise was put to use round the clock to create a solution in a record 23 days. That game-changing solution would become the GBU-28, commonly known as the Bunker Buster. The GBU-28 was made possible by the Arsenal's highly trained workforce, dedicated to its tradition of excellence. However, it was just a small chapter in its rich history of innovation in response to our country's national defense needs. Today, the arsenal is responsible for numerous armaments used on a wide variety of military platforms, including the versatile striker and the AC-130 gunship. Recently, the Water Valley Arsenal was called upon to provide special armor kits for vehicles being used by our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. The quick turnaround and manufacturing technology used to make these kits saved countless lives and impacted the course of both conflicts. The arsenal's value and capability is increased by its historic on-site relationships with Benet Laboratories and the Arsenal Business and Technology Partnership. Benet Labs is the Army's only research, development and engineering laboratory for large caliber cannon systems. It provides the Water Valley Arsenal with on-site engineering production and process support. Its many capabilities include reverse engineering and rapid prototyping. This unique synergy provides customers with state-of-the-art design and manufacturing, which allow 3D prototypes to be taken directly to machining workstations to create finished products. The resources of both the Arsenal and Benet Labs are increased by their collaboration with the Arsenal Business and Technology Partnership. As the Army's exclusive economic developer for the site, the partnership markets the services of the Arsenal and Benet Labs across a wide network of clients interested in their specialized manufacturing capabilities, research and technical expertise, and its proximity to New York's Tech Valley. The arsenal is irreplaceable. We are unique. We have a unique process that no one else in the Department of Defense has. Our workforce is one of a kind. The artisans are very, very talented. We have one of a kind machines. We have a rotary forge that can pound out any shape over a hollow preform. It's capabilities that you're not going to find anywhere else. From a cannon to the smallest part you can put in your pocket. Binet Laboratories can't say enough about the fantastic relationship between Binet and the Water Elite Arsenal. It truly is this energistic relationship where the engineers, the testers, of our product co-located at the same place as the manufacturer. Nowhere else in the Department of Defense do you have that relationship. When you want to talk about a lean culture and a lean environment, Six Sigma, valued engineering, it occurred here at Water Elite Arsenal first back in 1959. And that culture still exists today. Between Binet Laboratories and Water Elite Arsenal, we are continuously looking at ways to improve ourselves to make the highest quality product for our warfighters. From its earliest days in defense of a young nation, the Water Valley Arsenal has been at the forefront of our nation's defense. It continues to hold a special place in the hearts and minds of people who recognize its place in American history. Its future is secure as it now attracts fellow innovators to its site, 
who are interested in its unique manufacturing experience and capability. Today, as in the past, America's Canon factory is ready for any challenge that comes its way.